Right, okay, I know that about 90% of you are going to click away in just a couple of seconds, but take 9 minutes and 22 seconds out of your day just to watch this video. I promise you by the end of it, you're going to understand how to draw women in just under 10 minutes. Easy peasy. Simples. Easy. Done. Kablamo. If you want, just, just skip right to the very end of it. I don't mind. I don't care. Just, I'm going to talk you through how to draw it. I'm not talking you through how to draw this particular woman. I'm just going to talk you through how to go about drawing it, basically. <laughs> That's the only word I could think of. Um, so, yeah, all, all you got to do is find a model, find a reference image, and then just go over and over. Now, the reason I didn't record myself drawing the initial sketch is because, A, I'm absolutely absolutely just absolutely crap about it said too many absolutely then <laughs> i'm sorry um i'm i'm just crap at it basically so i decided not to draw that because nobody wants to i i decided not to record that because nobody wants me to watch nobody wants to watch me doing a hundred different takes of trying and attempting to draw the exact same bloody thing over and over again basically to learn how to draw um any woman from a reference image or just a uh, what's it called? A model? That's the word I'm looking for, sorry. <laughs> is you don't have to understand about complete anatomy. You don't have to buy a book and just read about anatomy. Yes, having some basic functions really do help. But for me, it's not about the details in this video. This video is just showing roughly how to get some skin textures, how to go about doing it, and how you can go from doing just a quick, simple, absolutely crap looking sketch from 10 minutes, and from there, you yourselves develop that skill and learn how to draw in more detail and produce much better quality videos. That's the whole point of what I'm trying to do here. So as you can see from this video here, I've decided not to use a blending stump because personally for me, I hate them. Yes, they're decent for drawing hair, they're decent for certain textures, all of that sort of stuff, but Personally, I prefer something that's a little softer. So what you're going to do for starting off is, as you saw clearly, is do your outline, get all your body uh, structures correct and everything, do your contour lines, all of that, make sure that you're happy with them, get a few details in there. From there, what you're going to do is um, uh, just go over it with a 6H pencil or a 5H pencil, as light as possible, and then shade it all in. You want, like, very little left. For me, I personally left the hair because I, I don't enjoy doing the shading for the hair first off. I like to do that just slightly a little later. So as you can see here as well, I've just gone over it. There's certain bits that I found just slightly too dark. So what I did for them is I got a nice little um, needle laser, ne needable rubber and just went over those tiny bits. Now for me, doing a quick sketch in just 10 minutes for doing a uh, face is absolutely challenging. I, I hate drawing faces, always have, so it's the crappest looking face you'll ever see in your entire life. <laughs> I'm dreadfully sorry for that. Um, all you, can, all I'm doing for the hair is just a quick, easy, just back and forth motion. So there's nothing really special about that at all, like in the slightest. Um, so what you're going to do after you've done your basic first base layer, as I like to call it, is so your first base layer, super light details, very no details at all, just a super light rough outline. Easy as that. Once you've done that, you then go over with your second layer. Yeah, you go over with your second layer and you, you start finding the muscle structures. Now, I know when I said you don't need to know, learn anatomy, that's that's a, not a lie-lie, but basically you don't need to learn everything about anatomy. You just need to understand the rough outlines of the muscles and the bones. Because otherwise, if you didn't understand them, your figure's just going to look like a bloody stick man, and nobody really wants that, do they? Everybody enjoys having some form of details. So for me, what I've decided to do here is I've spent a lot more time developing the breasts and how they look in comparison to everything else. In particular, I've gone from the head and the feet and made them look completely crap. Not intentionally, not completely unintentionally, but more or less just to show from crap. And then as you slowly go inwards uh, with your eye direction, you'll see that looks a lot better than the top and the bottom. Because obviously the top looks like it's been joined by a six-year-old, 
bottom looks like it's been drawn by a four-year-old. <laughs> I, I, I'm not that bad at it. I just decided, oh, excuse me. I just decided, screw it, just do it incredibly fast. Just get it over and done with. Easy peasy, whatever, nobody cares. But uh, I personally prefer to spend a little more time on the details. But since I was on a 10-minute clock, I just um, literally just went for it. Just completely random. <laughs> Wasn't really paying attention all that much. But like I said, what you're going to do here, get your bone muscles, get your structure, get that all correct, and pick a direction that your light comes from. That is one of the most important things I've learned. If you pick one single direction or two directions where your light's coming from, your life will become so much easier. It's the same thing for drawing details in eyes. When you're drawing the details in eyes, you don't use the, the white dot in one or eight different places. You have one or two different spots of light. It's the same thing you want on your body. Now, that this is different for shading and just doing your contour lines because when you're doing your rough outline, there's no shading. Do not shade anything. All you're going to do for your rough outline is literally an outline. That is it. So I'm obviously shading and drawing in graphite pencil here. And once you can see it again, is I'm going over it with the brush. Because, like I said, I find that the brush does leave me with a much nicer texture and it's definitely worth... Uh, buying one or finding a brush doesn't really matter what sort but as you can clearly see as I've just gone over the arm it has come out with such a nice such a smooth texture and as I go over the brush the breasts here you can see that they begin to look not as 2d and formatted on the sheet of paper they sort of begin to pop out as it were I'm sorry um, but uh, yeah so as you can see around the breasts around the side of them it's been darkened and underneath as well, dark. But on top, but not quite on top, just slightly to the side of the top bit, you can see where I'm aiming that direction of the light. The exact same for the stomach. I've left one little chunk of the stomach for showing you where the light's coming from. <clears throat> now, yes, I've drawn the rest of this in a really, really shitty, crappy, just sort of quick, rushed, mostly intentionally, because I did want to show you that small amount of realism you can see on that left side of the stomach looks so much better than the rest of it. Am I wrong? You decide. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. It's completely up to you. But personally, I definitely prefer it. The, ex the exact same amount with the skin texture on the breasts. So it's up to you. Just get a rough outline. And the moment you finish this sort of outline, it is completely up to you. You just go for it and elaborate with the methods and textures and ideas you've learnt. And once you've done that, you can you can go head over heels for drawing whatever you want. And it's it's as easy as that. Yes, take a rubber. Yes, take a brush. I'm using a different brush here because I like the larger one. Um, <clears throat> all you need, literally, is a pencil, paper, a brush, and a rubber. That is it. The moment you've got all of them, all you've got to do... Doesn't matter how crappy your drawing is, this is one of the shittest drawings I've ever done in my entire life. Well, since I started drawing, and, um, well, since I started drawing professionally, and it's just, it, it's crap, right? But that's the point, is not every drawing has to be perfect. What I've done here is I've intentionally made it crap, I've just rushed it completely, gone over no details, because I don't care, right? When you don't care, it can have certain downsides, but for me, I like that ability of, right, it's done, it's over, I'm just going to elaborate with the detail and get on with every bit of other, every other bit of it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.